In this video, I want to share an exercise with you, a riff that has been really useful and uh, it, it, it was really the riff that helped me to establish the whole uh, learn and master the hybrid picking technique and uh, I thought this would be this could be really useful for you as well. Let's hear it before I start opening up uh, what's it made of. Let's break down this riff. The main concept uh, of just about everything except the very ending is that you pick notes only on E string. So uh, you have Paul muted this chunk kind of uh, sounds and the rest, all these double stops are played with the middle and ring finger. So uh, the first bar basically you have uh, fingers doing this and then you just add that one downstroke always right after the hammer-ons and pull-offs. So you have the uh, it might take a little while to get that uh, coming uh, smoothly but uh, check that out and then let's hear it with the metronome slow and then fast fast okay now the second bar it's very similar it starts similarly but the instead of low to high we do high to low so and there is a um, this uh, kind of double stop bend in the very end, uh, kind of like quarter note blues bend kind of thing. Uh, so that that's a another technical challenge you might want to uh, uh, test out a little. Let's hear the second bar with the click, slow and then fast. Now let's hear both of these together, so the first two bars. So if you got everything so far, the good news is that it goes forward very similar way, so most of the work is done. Um, bars 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 are um, exactly the same with a little bit of variation. So it goes... Uh, the uh, Instead of... There is... So you need to move your picking hand unfortunately to the A string and also this plucking uh, these notes, these uh, double stops on D and G string. Yeah, the annoying G string. And uh, this uh, variation is repeated uh, in bars uh, 5 and 6 as well. So um, let's hear it everything all together so far. <laughs> so 
So the bar number seven, you get to free your picking for a moment and do just finger plucking. So that should be pretty simple. Then there. The um, this is kind of a Nuno Bettencourt and and kind of classic countryish uh, stuff uh, you've heard millions of times, and I borrowed borrowed it here. Um, kind of like uh, interval in sixth. Uh, the most biggest challenge with the sliding downward he is the the this this move from here to here where you just can't go on smoothly sliding you have to do a pull off so uh, it might be a good idea to practice this change a little bit There is the uh, crazy uh, pinch harmonic vibrato in the very end. Uh, we after that bend and pull off. Um, let's hear this bar seven and eight. Sorry for making this uh, such a messy lesson. That with a click, slow and fast. fast now let's uh, put on the loop and let me play it once and then I'll leave, leave the loop on and you can practice on your own. Hope you enjoyed this uh, lesson and try it out. Uh, it could be something with a little bit of variation. It might open up uh, all kind of uh, possibilities to build up riffs and, and, and have fun. So let's hear it with the loop. Have fun. <laughs>